<laughs> Whoa. What's going on you guys? Welcome to the Single Guy Channel. My name is Lloyd. Today we're gonna to be talking about how to get girls when you live with your parents. This is probably a common situation for some of you watching right now. I know it's a pretty common situation that's happening in general in the world. Um, and it happened to me too, you know, right after college, lived with my parents for a little bit. But I was still able to be successful despite this, okay? And it's because I did the things that I'm going to tell you in this video. Okay, so the first thing that I'm gonna talk about is how to still remain attractive to women, how to still be a good option for them, despite the fact that you live with your parents. And thing two, what are the practical steps to dating, hooking up with, uh, when you got your folks at home, okay? Because I know that was a big problem for me. Okay, cool. So before I get into this, if you are looking to get trained by me in person, then take a look at my boot camp schedule down below. Tell me what city that you're going to be in and look at the dates that I have, and then we'll try and work something out. Okay, cool. So the first tip that I'm going to give you about uh, how to get girls when you live with your parents is how to remain attractive to them. Because look, dude, I don't care who you are. <laughs> Women don't like a guy that lives with his parents, okay? They don't like it. It's definitely minus points for them for sure. But you can still be, holy cow, there's a huge thunderstorm going on right now. <laughs> but you can still be extremely attractive to them if you, uh, even though you live with your parents. And I was still able to be extremely attractive to them because here's the thing, dude. A lot of guys think that women just want a rich guy. And it's true, women do like men who are rich but they don't like the money part as much as you think. What they're really into is they're really into the qualities of a man who possesses a lot of wealth. Uh, you know, generally guys that are very wealthy and successful are guys that are very driven, are guys that when they have a goal, they go after it and they accomplish it. Guys who are confident, guys who work hard. These are the kinds of guys that women really like, man. Like that, those are very attractive things and they're looking for them in a, in a guy. And if you possess those traits just because you live with your parents, they're probably going to be willing to overlook that fact because you, if you possess these in such high quantities. I mean, if you think about Jeff Bezos or someone like that, like they started in their garage too. Elon Musk was working out of a garage for a little bit too. Do you really think that if, oh, <laughs> Jesus Christ, holy cow. Do you really think they're gonna overturn or they're gonna like overlook a guy just because he, you know, he's living in the garage? No, no, women are looking, if you show the potential to be a successful guy, it, it, it doesn't matter where you're living or how you're living, okay? And it doesn't have to be just for money, dude. It can be if you're an artist, athlete, you know, musician, whatever it is, dude. Like, it, as long as you show that you're gonna be successful and you're driven in those areas, a lot of women are still gonna really be attracted to you. Um, and that's one thing that women saw with me because I was always the kind of guy who was, I'm always pushing for a goal. And despite the fact that, you know, my current situation might not be the best, it might not be ideal, for them, they know that my potential is. And so if you show a high level of potential, women are still gonna be very attracted to you, man. Okay, so a lot of times this is gonna come up in conversation, whether you're at a social event, whether you're at a bar, club, you know, whatever, where do you live? Or like maybe somebody will ask a specific question um, and you won't be able to get out of it. Usually if they ask like, where do you live? Uh, I would usually just tell them the city and then that would be it. <laughs> if they found out I live with my parents later, okay, I'm, I'm not gonna lie to people, but you know, that's, I wouldn't, I wouldn't make that the focal point. Like if you bring, bring it up like, oh, I live with my parents in this area, like obviously like you're thinking about it a lot and it bothers you a lot clearly. So remember, a big rule when it comes to attracting women, holy cow, big thunderstorm. A big thing about women is that if it bothers you, it's gonna bother them. And if it doesn't bother you, it's not a big deal to you, it's not gonna be a big deal to them too. So what I would do is I would be like, yeah, I live with my parents, not a big deal. But um, that was the kind of mentality that I had. And I was always, whenever, whenever that topic would come up, I would always like, be talking about the future. I'd always be like, yeah, I'm thinking about living in this area or in like, I'm thinking about doing this trip. So they could see that my plan was not to stay in my current situation. My plan was to go and travel. My plan was to go move into this house or this apartment or this area, you know? That is the sign of a guy who has potential and maybe his current situation isn't great, but his potential is really, really hot. Okay, cool. So that's how you kind of handle those situations. Um, 
What I would do if you are looking, if you have a girl who's like down to hook up with you or maybe you're dating a girl and you're looking to get some privacy, well obviously you're gonna have to go back to her place. If her place isn't an option, then you're probably gonna have to use a car or get a hotel or do something like that, okay? Hopefully if you're living with your parents, you still got a little bit of money and you're not a complete deadbeat, all right? That's another thing too. Like if, if you're living with your parents and, Jesus, if you're living with your parents, and you're mooching off people, you know, like no one's gonna wanna get with you, dude, okay? So make sure that you have at least something going for you during this period of time. If you're starting your own business, you're working for a company and saving up, whatever it is, make sure that you got something going on. Okay, so the way I would go, uh, the way I would do it, like if I was gonna go back to another girl's place as opposed to my own, because usually what happens is like they ask you, hey, where do you live, or let's go back to your place, okay. If that would happen, then I would be like, oh, we can't go to my place, there's too many people there, uh, where do you live? And then she would tell me where she lives, if she lives close, cool, we can go there. If her place wasn't an option, then yeah, we'd probably use a car and then I'd probably drive to some like nice little lookout area where there's a cool view, um, you know, just do it like they did in the 60s. <laughs> Have a nice little lookout, make it romantic, do that sort of thing. If you're looking for an excuse to go back to a girl's place, you know, it's going well, she likes you, you guys wanna keep hanging out, well then just ask her about kind of, you know, what she has or, or her living situation. So maybe she has like a cool vinyl collection or maybe she has like uh, some artwork that she wants to show you um, or maybe she has some fun games or like a, your favorite alcoholic beverage or something like that. Those are the kinds of things you say, oh cool, you have a vinyl collection, oh I'd love to check that out. Do, do, we, have, do we have time? Why don't we leave just right now? Go there. Yeah, sorry, I'm gonna try and edit around this, uh, this big thunderstorm that's going on right now. So yeah, if she has one of those things, um, then say, cool, I'd love to check that out. And then you know maybe you can go after the bar's closed or the party ends or when you guys are ready to leave. Cool, that's a perfect excuse. Again, you guys, this is something that you should only be thinking about as temporary. If you're a deadbeat guy and you're not gonna get out of it, women aren't. They're just not gonna wanna get with you, man. So hopefully this helps you guys. If you've made it to the end, consider subscribing. I come up with videos like this every single week. If you're looking for a group of like-minded individuals that you can connect with, learn from, then join my Facebook group. I respond to questions, posts, messages the fastest in that area, so check that out. Um, and if you're looking to get coached by me one-on-one -on -one in my one-on-one -on -one coaching program, fill out the application form down below. We'll see if you're a good fit, and if you are a good fit, I'll get back to you, uh, and then we'll talk. All right, that's it. Thanks a lot, you guys. Good luck out there.